Across the country we have different microclimates and different regions for growing. So in Tasmania, for those people that, that think that we're green everywhere, that's not the case. Certain parts in Tasmania have experienced extreme drought up the east coast in particular and some of those pockets. And we also have things like a green drought as well where we might have pasture there, but we're not getting the good enough growth for the agricultural activity that's occurring in that area. It's a challenging time for anyone when they're in situations such as drought. They've got different business decisions that they have to make, and these could be short and long-term decisions. Currently at the moment, farmers can feel in isolation, depending on where they are, and might find it hard to find solutions to where they currently are. So the effects of drought cover the whole triple bottom line and then you have a knock-on effect that happens post drought. So even, you know, looking at lambing rates for the next year will be reduced and, and there's a kind of knock-on effect with pasture and condition and general productivity from the farm. So there is just a sort of a series of, of issues that happen. Drought um, for us here in the Coal River Valley is a very topical thing. Um, being a grower in the region for that period of time, we've uh, experienced uh, the highs and lows um, and of course uh, drought is obviously one of those low periods. For us to be able to produce a good quality product consistently, um, it is important that we do have stable conditions. So we do have farming extremes and I think that that's why um, this hub will be important to work across all of the different areas and, and get a bit of a litmus for what needs to happen in the different regions because you need yeah you need it to come from the locals up so that you can understand the challenges and issues. So if we're looking at the bigger broader end goal it's about the health, well-being and nutrition of our communities. So if our farmers are resilient, if our farmers have the tools there to enable them to continue to produce during tough times with the environment in mind, then then make sure that our communities are sustained for the long term. Preparation for drought is about having key uh, dates and points, um, so knowing what the weather will be, uh, where there's a key priority about when to destock, uh, what processes for drought lotting um, for financial uh, returns um, and where that needs to be put in place. The better we band together, we have better power and better um, focus in, into our markets, our separate markets. You know, I can see that impacting Tasmania, being more specific with the industries and where they're, they're, they're best um, grown and the resources that can help support those, those businesses. One of the things that we get passionate about is working with people to share their knowledge. Um, I think that that's something that's undervalued, is how much knowledge is already in the community out there. There's people who are constantly playing around and innovating and coming up with really interesting practical solutions to problems. So it's really great to get groups of people together to kick the dirt and talk about, you know, what they're doing and what they're making work, what, what, what's hard, what's, what's working, what's not. And therein lies a really, a, like a gold resource for, for, you know, drought resilience and preparedness. We have a lot of good emerging young farmers coming through and we've got a lot of people that are actually moving to Tasmania wanting to experience what we have to offer here. You know, whether that's people coming into farming for the first time, uh, startups, uh, people looking to expanding their business offering. So this project needs to be able to cater for a wide range of farmers. It's an exciting time for Tasmanian agriculture. So this research and this program is all based around need and future focus. And it's critical that we have this type of program available so that it's targeting exactly what each grower or region is looking to achieve and then starting to develop that capability so that they are able to be resilient when the time comes.